so you want to be a Corsair. So you want to have a lot of summons that can help you out in battle, while also attacking from afar. Well then you've come to the right class. In the beginner tab, we have Master of Swimming, allows you to move faster underwater as well as you don't drown. Master of Organization allows you to have 24 inventory slots as soon as you start the character. Very helpful as if you don't want to play it and you just want to be a mule. Perfect for holding stuff. In first job, we have Somersault Kick, which you're not going to be using, and Double Shot, which I actually can't show you because the second job, Triple Shot, automatically upgrades Double Shot. So just imagine this, but with one less bullet. And then we have Octopush, which is your flash jump. Goes pretty far. I love it. Dash, which I do have added into even though I don't use it, like ever. So when you double press left or right, and then hold it after the second press, you get this, like, dash above, like below your feet. And what it does is it moves you faster, and you avoid um, knockback. You have 100% uh, knockback resistance pretty much when you do it. On top of that, when using triple fire, which is from second job, your damage is doubled. Otherwise, I wouldn't even put points into this skill. Um, the only reason I put points into it is to show what it looked like when you use it, because in the buck video I didn't. Anyway, and then the other skills are passive. Alright, moving on to second job. We have triple fire, which is the upgraded version of double shot. And this is pretty much your... Like, if uh, an elite boss or something spawns, this is what you're going to be using to attack it. Um, hits pretty fast, pretty hard. It's a good skill. Scurvy summons. Sadly, I have the upgraded version, so I'm actually going to be able to summon two people. But you'll be able to summon one character to fight alongside you, and that's pretty much all they do. The duration and the cooldown are the same, so, you know, as soon as they run out, just summon them again. Rapid Blast. This is your mobbing skill for a second job. You know, let me put these skills on. So it's your mobbing skill for a second job. It's pretty much an in invisible shot that does three lines to enemies that, you know, you're attacking. So um, it's also very fast, like I'm holding it down now, and you can see just how fast it is. It's uh, very good. Didn't used to be such a good mobbing skill, but man, is it really good now. Alright, next we have Recoil Shot. And at first you're going to be like, oh, this skill doesn't seem that all that useful, it doesn't even move you that far. But believe me, this is one of the most useful tools you have as a Corsair. So if you rapid fire press it, you move pretty fast. But honestly, if you just press it as soon as you hit the ground, you can travel much faster along the floor. It's great for minor adjustments to boss fights. So like if you don't want to, you know, flash jump like, oh, look at how far I have to go. Then just do rapid fire and you move back slightly. Um, you can also extend your flash jump by using it at the right time. So, normal flash jump, I go right here. And then if I flash jump and use recoil, I go even farther. Now, if you time it perfectly, however, you go, you go um, the farthest, which is like at the height of your jump, I would say. So, oh, that wasn't it. I mean, it was close, but there we go. That's what I wanted. So yeah, you can also extend your jump. So you just gotta get used to the timing of it. If you wanna, you know, jump farther. But it does fire you backwards, so you do have to turn around and then shoot to go the original direction. Alright, so booster increases your attack speed by 2. Wings. This is your vertical mobility skill, and if you hold it, you float. Or glide, really. Um, sometimes it won't work. Like, sometimes you'll just drop straight to the floor. I think it has to do with ping, I'm not too sure. But um, it says to hold the jump button for some reason, but that does not work for me. Um, like it says, press and hold the jump key again. And I'm just like, that doesn't work. Like, it should say press and hold the wings key. Um, you can't attack or anything well like this. I know you used to be able to back in the day when you had the little flurries under your feet. Um, but that is no longer the case. 
and uh, that's pretty much that. Like, that's good for vertical mobility if you want to get to, like, multiple platforms and attack. Infinity Blast. This makes it so that you don't use bullets when you attack, although you give up 100 bullets, but you don't use up bullets for the next 180 seconds. So it's very worth it, especially later on, when you get rapid fire. Or else you're going to be eating through bullets like crazy. Speaking of bullets, you do have to recharge them at NPCs in order to um, be able to shoot. Because if you have no bullets, you won't be able to attack. You'll just do like a normal swing with the gun. Which doesn't really do anything. And the rest are passive. Moving on to third job, we get Blunderbuster, which is your new... I guess mobbing and boss? Well, I guess triple fire would still be your... Like if an elite boss spawns. Because I think it does more damage than this. But, Blunderbuster is your shotgun. It's your new mobbing skill. It only does two lines, but those lines are very powerful. Much better than, um... Re uh, not recoil, what's it called? The invisible attack, whatever. It's uh, farther ranged, attacks... Uh, I shouldn't say faster, but it's definitely better. It's a better skill, in my opinion. So next we have Black Boot Bill. And this skill will knock back enemies that you hit with it. Um, I don't find it useful, really. Um, I never really find it... I, ne I never find myself in a situation where I want to knock back enemies. But it does some pretty decent damage. Only once, though. But, um, yeah, like I said, I never really found a use for it. I guess you can push Gila or something along. Octo Cannon. So this is your second summon. Um, the first one, of course, being the crew members. And now you get this one, which is actually pretty strong, and the cooldown's only 10 seconds. So, yeah, definitely put him down when you have the chance, if you know that enemies are going to be on that platform. He does only attack one enemy at once. One enemy at a time, but he's pretty strong. Roll of a dice. So you roll a dice, a die, and because I have the fourth drop version, I have double down, which is two die. Dice. <laughs> anyway, um, so going down the numbers, if you roll a one, you get nothing. You roll a two, you get magic uh, defense and magic defense. You roll a three, you get HP and MP. Um, if you roll a four, you get crit rate. If you roll a five, you get damage. And if you roll a six, you get extra EXP. So I just got a 6 and a 1, so the 1 was nothing, and the 6 gave me EXP, which can be seen here, 30% extra EXP. And then, um, when you get double down in 4th job, if I were to get 2 dice, that would go to 40%, because it goes up 10% every time you get, you know, the same number, like you rolled 2 of the same number. And the rest are passive. I'm just going to scroll over them so you can see what they do. Oh, actually, I'm going to explain all aboard, even though it's a passive. So this is the upgrade to the other summons. So all aboard makes it so that now you summon two members to help you out. And both of them do some pretty good damage. Um, all of them do damage, I mean. I, th I believe this guy is Jack. He does the least amount of damage. He's like a little scaredy cat or something, or he's always sick. I, I don't know what his deal is, but he's not all that great. Um, also... If you are about to be hit by an abnormal status, so seduce, stun, uh, petrify, anything, they'll take it from you in the form of them looking like they got sealed. So I'm going to try to get this magician to uh, try and slow me down. Okay, I guess it doesn't work on slow. <laughs> but you'll see um, when I go bossing that they'll get a, a lock above their head which means that they took an abnormal status for you. But apparently it doesn't work on slow. I guess slow isn't important enough, or... I, I don't know. I'm glad that it works that way, though, because what's slow going to do to you? You have a really good flash jump and recoil. So, um, yeah, it wouldn't really do anything, even if... So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it works on the things that actually matter, like seduce. But, um... Yeah. Um, that's it for that, I guess. So we move on to fourth jump. And in fourth job, you get your official bossing skill and your official mobbing skill. Alright, so rapid fire. This is going to be your bossing skill. It hits very fast with very high damage. And you can move around with it. Mine is... I have a... a 
I have a hyper point put into it that allows me to attack a little bit farther. I believe the normal distance is like around around here. I think. So um yeah, you can move around with it. It's pretty much instant, so you can tap it if you want to. It, it's a really good rapid fire skill. So as you can see here. Very good, very fast damage. It's uh, overall a great skill. And we have Brain Scrambler. And this is your, like, snipe type of skill. Where when you press it, you do a lot of damage with 100% crit on one enemy. So yeah, number of attacks is high, um, ignore defense, and 100% crit. Cooldown is only 5 seconds. Parrot Targeting. This is your bread and butter, pretty much. As soon as you're about to fight a boss, first you throw an egg at it. Once it gets hit by an egg, you can't really see it, I don't know why they made it so transparent, but there's a little parrot or some kind of bird waving a flag. That means that enemy has been parrot targeted. And what that means is that you do 25% extra final damage to them. Also, the enemy that you hit with it will be the target to all of your, like, all of your attacks will mainly hit it, even if something's in the way. So if I go up here, if I was trying to hit, um, I don't know, the bowman right there, the, the one walking towards me, and there's an enemy in front of him, I'll hit the enemy in front of him first because, you know, you can't just pierce through things. But if I were to hit him with the... Okay, he died. <laughs> so I'll do it with this guy. So if I hit him with the egg, and then there's all these people in front of him, right? The first thing that'll get hit is him. Unless I use a mobbing skill. But it pretty much auto-targets to whatever you hit with the egg before it attacks anything else. And of course, if they're not in the attacking range, it'll hit whatever's closest to you. So it's an amazing skill. If you just want to attack a specific part of a boss, or you just want to attack a boss but the boss keeps summoning things, then you're always attacking that one thing that you parrot targeted. Amazing skill. And of course, you get the extra damage. Like I said. Eight Legs Easton. Is, is that how you pronounce that? I don't actually know. This is your mobbing skill for fourth job. And it is... Very strong. It also prevents you from taking any kind of knockback. It gives you actually uh, super knockback resistance. So not even Lotus or Magnus can knock you back when you use it. But you do very heavy damage to... Uh, I think it was six enemies... Um, nope, eight enemies, four times. But it's heavy damage, like, really... This is one of your strongest attacks, aside from, you know, headshot. Or I think it's called brain scrambler, whatever. Very strong mobbing skill. And then we have broadside. You'll be using this a lot as well. Corsairs just has a lot of attacks you'll be using, but you'll see that, you'll see that in bossing. So, when you use broadside, you summon crewmates in a ship, to attack. And each crewmate has a different way of attacking. Some attack at a long distance with um, with fast attacks. Some of them attack fast with a short distance. Well, I don't think any of them actually have a short distance. Like, all of them say normal range. But um, there's, like, you know, slow attackers, fast attackers, and normal attackers. And they all have different damage. So um, it's kind of RNG which ones you get, but either way, they're all helping you out. They all hit six enemies up to three times. The cooldown, however, is only 30 seconds, but when I get to the next skill, Nautilus Strike, you'll see that 30 seconds doesn't have to be 30 seconds. You can actually cut that in half. So, Nautilus Strike. It, it's pretty much your AoE skill. Um, has a cooldown of 30 seconds. So when you use it, it's just like an AoE, whatever, does a lot of damage to a bunch of enemies, but it has a secondary effect. While it's on cooldown, or when you first use it, I guess I'll explain that first. When you use it, it reduces the cooldown of um, broadside, dice, and the summon skill. So, you know, you can summon these guys, you can summon the uh, the ship, and then you use dice, and then you can use Nautilus, and look at all the cooldowns. They got reduced by half. So, that means you can summon, you know, two boats, like, it, it just reduces the... the cooldown making it a lot more easy to um, do things really. 
Not only that, but while it's on cooldown, Majestic Presence, which I haven't gone over yet, gets a 30% final damage increase. Which is amazing. Like, really good. You'll, you'll see when I get to it. So, um, yeah, that's that. So it reduces the cooldown to skills, and also makes you stronger. I'll, I'll just put it that way. Maple Warrior. Increases you and your party members' all stats by 15%. Jolly Roger. Increases your attack power by 20%, and gives you some other stuff. And then also, uh, 60% knockback resistance, and reduces your avoidability. Don't worry, it's worth it. They don't really have much avoid anyway, so... It's whatever. Heroes Will. Cures you of an abnormal status, and also leaves you immune to abnormal status for 3 seconds. Pirate's Revenge. So, I thought that this was pretty much the same as Buck's, but it's not. Instead of having a 25% chance, now it has a 40% chance to increase your damage by 15%, and it lasts for 45 seconds. However, unlike Buck, it does not automatically reapply itself. You can't actually get, get Pirate's Revenge for another... where was it? Another 50 seconds. So once it activates, like mine just did, then for another 50 seconds, it won't activate again. And I did not know that. But that's fine, because the duration is pretty pretty long. Um, let's see... Also, it says something about activates on... Oh, okay, so it just means that, you know, attacks that do percent HP will also activate it, which you really don't want to be getting hit anyway. But I guess if you just want to activate that, then that's good. I suppose. Or just poison or something. Alright. Um, it also reduces the damage that you take by 15%. Which is just passive. Alright, so, um, double dam. So now you get to roll two dice. And I got a 4 and a 6. So now my crit rate is increased, as well as my EXP. And like I said, if you roll two of the same number, the boost is increased by... I think for most of them it's 10%, or maybe all of them. I don't remember the exact numbers. Cooldown matches the duration, so, you know, you can just... As soon as the buff goes away, you can just activate it again. Oh hey, mateys! Is the final upgrade to your crew summoning? So... The crew's damage is increased by 15... Uh, final damage is increased by 15%. And when a crew member is summoned, you gain 45 attack. And then each member also gains a new ability that affects you. So when you summon this guy... Um, I believe his name was Cutter? No, no, no. Cutter is uh, the purple guy. So, okay. Um, the blue guy gives you 5% crit damage. Valerie, the girl on the left, gives you 15% crit rate. Jack, the green guy, gives you HP and MP. And then the last guy uh, cuts your cuts the damage that you take by 15%. So um, that's really good. It makes you really want to summon them all the time. Alright, and then finally, my favorite... like the. This skill gets overlooked by so many people. So Majestic Presence um, increases your attack by 30, but also when your bullets hit, like I think for any of your attacks really, um, you do an extra line of damage. So I think I'm going to one hit this guy. Yeah. So let's see. If I were to throw an egg... So it did happen. Um, you'll see that there's actually two hits that activate, but um, where it's most ignored is with rapid fire. Like most people see rapid fire and they're like, oh, it's only a one line hurricane, like that's whatever. But actually it's doing two hits, as you can see there. So that's Majestic Presence activating. And remember how Nautilus Strike increased its damage by 30% when it, while it's on cooldown? Well, Rapid Fire's damage is 325%, Majestic Presence increases, or does 275% damage, and while Nautilus is on cooldown, it increases by 30%, making 305% damage. That's close enough to a two-lined Hurricane. So it's kind of like doing two hits, but the second hit is slightly weaker. It, it's really good. Alright, so then we have Quick Draw, 
and this will activate as you're attacking. So there's an 8% chance to activate the quick draw effect. And when it's activated, you can put the key, uh, skill on your keyboard. And um, when it's activated, or ready to be activated, you'll see that quick draw is on, on the top right of your screen. When you activate it, the next hit that you do will have 50% extra damage to it. I believe it was damage, not final damage. Yeah, so just damage. So, if I hit with, you know, the headshot... What's it called? Brain Scrambler? <laughs> then it does quite a bit of damage. You really want to save that for, like, the heavy hitting attacks. And I'll get into it when I go into bossing, when you really want to use that. Alright, so that's all for the fourth job skills. Now moving on to hyper, hyper passives. I did double down saving grace, because sometimes you'll roll a die and you only get one, like that, and you, you kind of, you want to make sure that you're getting um, two die, so that you, you know, have just more numbers, more stats. So the next four times that I roll um, double down, I'm guaranteed to have two die. Dice? <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Um, so yeah, it's really good to have. And also there's a 40% chance to have the cooldown not apply, but again, I've never seen that happen. So then for rapid fire, I put into all three. Gave it damage, boss damage, and increased the range on it, so it attacks much farther now. For brain scrambler, I increased the number of attacks by one, because there, were just, there was just one more point left, and this is the best out of three that's available. Moving on to active hypers. Whaler's Potion, which is actually just you drinking alcohol. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, it says sugar water, but you know it's not sugar water. Anyway. So, you get this at 150, and what it does is it increases your HP by 15%, and also uh, your crit rate by 10%, and the damage that you take by... Or, the damage that you take is reduced by 15%. So, it's a defensive skill, but it's it's good. The crit rate is nice, I guess. Ugly Bomb, which is just a nuke, um, does exactly what it is. It, it's a nuke. It, you just blow up the map. I don't know. Yeah, I do have it on keyboard. So here you go. Has a short cooldown. I believe it's only uh, 15 seconds. But it's very good to use when you're mobbing. Does 12 hits, 15 enemies, 15 second cooldown. Very strong. And at level 200, you get uh, Epic Adventure which increases you and your party, as long as they're adventurers, 10% um, damage. However, it can stack with other adventurers who are also using this skill, so, you know, you can have a lot of percent damage. 60%. Alright, so that's it for all of their skills. Now to show you some of their mobbing. Also, the reason that I'm in this map is because I like the music here compared to uh, always being in the other map. But anyway, just make sure you have your summons out, Roll the dice, and then use Nautilus. This map doesn't really have that much spawn, but eh, it's a pretty good map to show. So now I can put this down here. And it, since that guy has such a short cooldown, I can just leave that platform to them. And now this whole map is mine! And yeah, that's pretty much their mobbing. I mean, I could go down there and attack, but I really don't have a need to in this map. So now you see that guy's gone away, but I can already summon another one. And there you go. That is pretty much how I mob with this class. Oh, and of course, um, if I need to, I can always just throw the nuke in there as well. But I rarely need to. I'm sure in later maps you could use it. But um, yeah, that's their mobbing. It's a lot of 8 leg Easton, a lot of summoning. And, um, you know what? I'm sure there's... I wish I could go to Choo Choo Island to show you, like, the true potential of their mobbing. It's so good. But anyway, let's move on to the bossing. So when bossing with Corsair, because you can't jump with rapid fire to avoid attacks that maybe hit the ground, as you're attacking with rapid fire, you'll most likely get quick draw to activate. So when you see an attack coming that forces you to jump, you can either rapid fire away, 
or uh, recoil shot away, activate quick shot, and then do um, brain scrambler. Or you can just jump, activate it, and then brain scrambler. But anyway, let me go to Von Leon, so hopefully I can show you. Alright, so the way that I start off the boss fight is I make sure I summon my crew, and then I hit the boss with pirate targeting. Summon the boat, and since he's about to attack with a ground-based attack, I jump, and then I use headshot. That was actually badly timed, but I was, I was just showing in, uh, not really slow motion, but pretty much how I do it. So that I'm able to avoid damage. Also, you can attack from way back here, so it's very easy. Um, Corsair, very strong class, as long as you can manage the summons. It's not really even managing them as much as just having them out. Um, luckily, the two crewmates are very easy. They have a long duration. And the boat summon is just... You can only have two out, but it's so easy to just manage them. So, um, anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything I missed, please let me know. Oh, and also if, uh, Brain Scrambler's on cooldown, you can always just switch it out for the nuke. But, yeah, that's basically how I play Corsair. So hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you in the next video.